All right, guys, welcome back. We're in Jonah chapter four. And if you know Jonah, this is the last chapter in Jonah. And then we're going to move on to Ephesians uh, tomorrow. But four, uh, verses two and three rose up for me, and I, I taglined it, Jonah explains his anger. Uh, but Jonah was greatly displeased and became angry. He prayed to the Lord, O Lord, is this not what I say when I was still at home? That is why I was so quick to flee to Tartish. I knew that you are a gracious and compassionate God, slow to anger and abundantly abund, abounding in love, a God who re relents from sending calamity. I love those words. Jonah explains his anger. My reveal, Jonah did not get what he wanted. He wanted God to bring judgment upon the people that he hated. God granted repentance to the Ninevites. This is not what Jonah wanted at all, even though Jonah knew God was full of grace and mercy because that's the way God treated Jonah. This is what Jonah was afraid the people would do was repent, and that is exactly what they did. He wanted God to pass judgment. Remember, Jonah called on the mercy of God and enjoyed it when he extended it to him. Now he resents it when God extends it to others. What if God treated Jonah in the way Jonah wanted God to treat the people of Nineveh? Can't have it both ways. This was so painful to Jonah that he would have rather died than to think of it. And it says that in scripture, he would have rather have died than to have even thought about that. Wow. My implementation. This brought to me what I consider to be the golden rule, the golden rule of my life. And this is something that my parents, I guess, beat into my brain at, at a young age. But uh, the golden rule, treat other people with the concern and kindness you would like them to show toward you. I think, guys, we, we need to be compassionate towards other people. And I always tell my kids, hey, guys, e even if they did you wrong, uh, you have to treat other people the way that you would want to be treated. I just think that's uh, a Christian thing to do, and it doesn't seem fair all the time. But in the in the uh, I think in the long run, it, it just pays off, right? I've had people come back to me later in life and say, "Hey, Brian, I really I apologize. I really want to apologize for the way that I treated you, and it wasn't fair." I don't want to have to go back to somebody ten years from now and apologize for what, the way that they feel that I treated them. I just, don't, I just don't think that's a fair assessment of who I am as a person or who, who my children are that I, that I helped raise, right? My prayer, Lord, constantly remind us of the golden rule. Kindness is part of mercy and grace. I just think if we can live life and we can just have that, that golden rule of um, this is simple, simple. <laughs> I, I, know, I know you get angered and, and you want to act out and, and you want to do things, but I think the simple part of that is always remember and remind yourself. I just really want to treat that person the way that I would want to be treated. And, and I think it just makes it a little bit more, a little bit more simple. All right, let's pray it out. Uh, Lord, just remind us uh, every day that uh, we want to, uh, no matter what, we want to be treated the way that we feel that we treat people. And it just would make this world a better place. Uh, not that we have to lash out or that we have to say things that we want to regret, Lord, but just put it on our tongues and our minds and our, our soul that we, uh, we act in a different way when we are around other people. Lord, we do all this in your name. Amen. All right, guys, I'll see you in the morning.